Hey there, it's BitBee, and welcome out to another BitBee stream. Thanks for coming out. It is Sunday, and surprise, surprise, I'm actually doing a VR stream on Sunday. Usually I reserve that for times where I either am not able to make it on Sunday, or I reserve it to Wednesday because it gives me more prep time. Um, no, actually, I've got some games that I've really, really wanted to play in VR, and I am jumping right into them. Here we are. Uh, it's called Irrational Exuberance Prologue. And it looks interesting, but it was a little bit annoying to set up because the game itself had an interesting little overlay on top of all the game footage. I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know if they're trying to, like, circumvent Let's Plays. I certainly hope that's not the case. Visually, it's probably going to look a little more fuzzy than it would under normal circumstances, so I apologize for that, too. Photosensitive seizure warning sitting right over here. Very small percentage of people may experience seizures when exposed to certain visual images, including flashing lights, patterns. Basically, if if you suffer from seizures, uh, maybe don't view this stream. I don't know, something like that. Arati Null Exuberance. Give it a second. There we go. Irrational Exuberance. I have no idea what this is about, so I, I think it's one of those artsy-fartsy things. Let's see. Okay. Dream's still going. Good. We're inside like a hollow cocoon shadow shallow thing. And I I did a little bit of testing and I discovered that. Yeah, I can just hit those. Anyway. That's what I expect this is going to be. One of those fangled experiences that tries to trip you out. Whoa. Well, that's pretty. Oh god, that's a ceiling. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I don't think I broke anything. Well, I'm out, so what exactly am I looking at here? Again, there's an exploded thing located over there and giant moon rock. Certainly hope this isn't like all of this. Oh. Alright, couple meteors going up. Whoa, whoa. Comet! Can I catch one? Nope, looks like it's just out of my range. There's another one. So am I on, like, the outside of the Earth or something? Like, this looks like an Earth-esque place. Oh, Jesus. Chill out! This is very intriguing. This is kind of one of those experiences that I imagine would be amazing for somebody who has never done VR before. Was just interested in taking a look at it. Oh, I expected it to smash. Oh, wait, what the heck? What's this? Did I smash this out of it? I can't seem to do anything with it. All I have is just like floating orbs. Weird. Oh, oh, weird. What? Okay. So is this the rocket fuel? Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? Okay, whoa, 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 oh, God. All right, I see what you meant by seizures. The hell? Why did you use that particular pattern of, like, red and blue? Screw you, man. And if that's not enough of a warning, I don't know what else could possibly be. It doesn't help that it was, like, really out of nowhere. That's cool. Oh, fucking shit! Stop it, stop it. Oh, God. All right. Wow. Seriously, if anybody is known for having seizures, please don't stick around. If anything, I might cut those tarp parts entirely out when I uh, edit the footage together. Okay. So it looks like I'm, I'm on a meteor going extremely fast that direction. But to what end? I can't do anything. I'm just sort of... Fucking shit. I guess that's what I get for getting this thing for free. Oh, hey, that thing's still floating out in space. Ooh. Irrational exuberance prologue. Oh. Creative direction, there's all the credits and all that stuff. Hello, hello. 
All right, man. Seriously, like VR is one of those things that it's. It. Uh, I don't know what to think about this entire thing because holy crap. More irrational is coming. All right, well, take a little bit of advice from this. I, I know they have a, a feedback thing that you can actually click on and you can go to their website. Uh, if I can give a little bit of feedback, you don't need to in inundate somebody with though that much ridiculous amount of flashing colors. Like, I didn't even see that in form. It, it, it's plenty pretty and all that, and I was enjoying myself. That was awful. Like, I don't... So really, I, I think out of anything, fix that. Make sure that kind of thing can't happen. Um, I mean, I know that a lot of people that have epilepsy probably shouldn't be strapping VR headsets to themselves in the first place. So in that regard, well, I, I mean, you might be pretty safe on that front. And you did give me a warning, but just because you gave me the warning doesn't inherently mean that just like, all right, cool, let's make red and blue flash at complete, like, rapid intervals. Ooh, I could do that one. All right. So this has been out for a very long period of time, but I haven't bought it and I haven't owned it, but I just recently picked it up. There we go. Space Pirate Trainer. I am excited. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm getting some really weird Deus Ex or Blade Runner type of vibes from this place. Just a whole bunch of futuristic stuff, floating elements and things. Music by James Marvel and June Miller. Um, okay. That's depending on whether or not they're planning on content IDing my ass. Let me see. Oh, right. Oh, I can look through the sights. Well, that's neat. Reflex cross. Three dot. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if, if I want to do any kind of, like, pot shots or something, I can do that. Arcade, Explorer, Hardcore. I have no idea what any of these things kind of are, so... Let's go with Arcade. Right, wave one. Who's gonna attack first? Oh, hey! Okay, I can just hold down the triggers. Where are you at? There they are! Get them down, firepower. What's really nice about VR is that you don't have to worry about spending any money on this crap. Well, okay. You you pay the, uh, the cover charge of buying the game, but that's about it. Uh, oh, God! Duck! Dive! Weave! Shit. Come on. Aim where they're gonna be, not where they're at. <laughs> Friends of mine actually like to go out to actual firing ra ranges and uh, do all the real world shooty stuff. But at the same time, it costs an arm and a leg to do so. Especially if you want like an entire day's worth of just firing and stuff. Oh God, it hit me. Everything's going chromatic. Shit. Oh, God. Hit me again. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Okay, enter my initials. Uh, I'm gonna go with just bit. Wave one. Howdy! Wave one is just literally one bot being like, Hi! Down. Wave six. How much health do I have? It said I had, like, regening health. I do see them as being kind of pitiful if somebody was actually active. You know, somebody who actually has muscle mass, I feel like, would ace this game. So, like, pretty much nothing flat. What's that thing? How are you? Oh, God. All right, I got it. Is that a friend or foe? I have no idea. I'm just killing it. Oh, God. I NEED SUPPORT! RUIN THEM! Thank you. Open up, you slimy son of a- What do we got here? FIRE SHOTS! Oh, this is fun. I'm gonna have to do this way more often. I'm gonna have to get people to play this. Why didn't I pick this up before? This is amazing. Immediately get hit by rainbows! Just here you are! And there you go. What the heck are you? Oh god, something just hit me. Ah, uh, can't see. Alright. Big part of this is actually paying attention. Oh, I'm shooting rockets out of the air. That's what that is. That's a lot of damage. Yep. 
crap. I'm kind of walking directly into the bullets now. Uh, I'm dead. Be it. I don't know if it is. I. Oh. Oh, right. You can, like, reach back and then you can grab something. So. Oh, my God. Where are you? I assume I could probably slash things with this somehow if they get close enough. Also, I like the um, I like the bump map texture of this thing. You can't really tell it, but uh, it looks very much 3D while I'm looking at it. Well, I don't think I really need to have two guns. It was just kind of a special thing. I'm gonna try arcade again. Here's a question. Oh fuck! You can hit yourself. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wonder how long the shield lasts. Whoop. Whoa, Jesus. Get him. Take him down. I'm not doing well with the whole actually aiming and at their heads. A lot of them are whizzing by him. Is there a story behind this or is this all just sort of, it's sci-fi, deal with it cool thing is that since the shield is virtual, it's not taking up any kind of, uh, any kind of space in the real world, so I can just flail it around with a reckless abandon. Switch. Swap. Die! Gee! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude, fuck! Nope. Ass! Nope. Shit. Okay, almost got him. Oh, damn it. All right. Got to say that that chromatic thing does. It's very disorienting. Oh, my God. Well, that's ridiculously fun, but I think that will do it for streaming the game. I got that is insanely fun. If you know anybody who has a Vive headset and doesn't have that game, make them buy that game and play it. Give it a shot because that is fun. Um, there's one game in particular that I have been holding off for a really long time now. I guess I should say that the game in question is Budget Cuts, and it's supposed to be sort of a, a stealth VR title, which that doesn't sound like... It sounds like it might work. I just seem to remember that it was a very very positive reviews before, but now we've got a whole lot of naysayers coming in, and Budget Cuts. Hold both pads to start. Here we go. All right, I'm in some kind of an office building. I have cups, a potted plant at my disposal. I will grab one of these. Press and hold this tiny button in your non-dominant hand. Oh, there we go. Move your controller here to equip the translocator. Holy, oh, nice, cool. So that's how that works. What the heck? Uh, press any of the grip buttons to translocate. Oh, I see. Derpity herps. Gotcha. So you shoot in one direction. You swap over. Oh, hmm. That doesn't look secure. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a grenade launcher. Hmm. Don't need that anymore. Let's see here. Nobody? Well then. I feel safe enough to go through there. Hold this touchpad to open my inventory. Use my other hand to drop I oh, oh, cool, so I can hold stuff. Hmm. Got myself an ID. Do I need to use that in order to open up the elevators? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. An ID, a roll of tape. I may need to paint something. And of course I'm going to need paint to actually paint. Or not. Can I only hold a certain amount of things? I can only hold certain weight things. All right. So this is the second floor. <laughs> I love how there, there's only two floors in this entire thing. Two and six. Sure. The other ones have been taken over by a horrible dark hive mind. Sup? Three hours earlier. 
Hey, sir. Alan. 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 Shut up. I can hear you, Kate. I'm just choosing not to respond. Well, I heard from Tracy and Karen uh. that all the humans in her department had been reported to HR. They're human. Of course they're in violation of HR. That's where the phrase comes from. Human nature. Did you even listen in our orientation? Yes. But what you don't know is, is that they never come back. What? Are you sure? I'm positive. They have a meeting with HR and then... Hello! Oh, never seen again. Sorry, Bill. Meet me out for drinks later. Is worrying. I... I, I, I do hope they're yeah. all right. We got this top secret thing sitting over here. Am I supposed to do anything with this? No clue. Oh my god, staple gun. Can I use it? Can I actually use it? Let me see. Uh, maybe I can only use it downwards? No. Clearly not. If I could, the game would have let me. Hello, human coworker. This oh, hey. This major was mailed to you. Enjoy. Thank you. 1985. Springsteen, Madonna, way before Nirvana. Okay. Uh, 1985, I guess I need to call that. Here, hold up. Kind of fucked up the phone. Here. Hello. What's up? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, my name is Winter, and look, we can do the cute introductions later, but you're in terrible danger. People keep disappearing around here, and I hate to tell you, but they're coming for you next. Now, I'm gonna help you get out of here, but we have to move quickly. See that locked briefcase? Yeah, I hid the key for it on your desk. I'll fax you where to find it. Inside is the translocator. It's a special travel device that you can use to get out of the building as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. Grab the pager before you go and put it in your inventory. I'll ping you once you're clear. Now stay low and hurry. You can make it, but you have to go now. Gotcha. So, I got the translocator here. Tool selection. Well, I got it. This has been a boring job anyway. So, gotta stay low. Eh? This is reminding me a lot of that one scene from The Matrix. All right. No way. I guess I'll duck in between my co-worker's cubicles. Howdy, employees. I'm Rex Crane III, your boss and founder of Transcorp. I love to see new faces. As more faces means my company is making more money. <laughs> Only joking. Welcome aboard, fans. We love working for Transcorp. After all, we are the future. Hmm. This is a very gray and dull future, especially one that doesn't allow us to have any colorful paintings. What is this? Soda. We're robots. I, is this like motor oil? Well, I can take a quick gander at all of the things inside that room before I actually enter it. I suppose, why am I so scared about people seeing me around here? I'm sure I'm an employee. Of course I'm coming through here. There we are. Oh, uh. What's up? Do not ask questions. <laughs> it's taco day. Dude, why am I leaving? That is the perfect thing. Oh, all right, fine. Whoa. I love it when games do that. <laughs> Just like, they, they're going to eat it. Hmm. A little bit of apple bowling. Hey, you. This is a professional workplace. Well, that kind of just shows how bad I am at bowling. Who is this Come on, yo. handsome devil with the dulcet tones reaching out to me over the tannoy? I hear you wonder. Well, I'm Rex Crane the Third, and there's plenty of ways to describe me. Ooh. Hey, there's a Roomba in there. National business playboy, superstar, philanthropist, genius, and so modest too. <laughs> Don't believe me? Read the cover story of this month's Entrepreneur About Town. Free copies available in the lobby. Uh, this is just reminding me, like, I recently went to Walmart. I don't know if I talked about this in the store, like, in, in uh, streams before. But I went to Walmart, and uh, I guess they did a thing that I... I want to say they probably do often. 
I don't I don't go to Walmart all that often, so man, I have no clue. But no, I did a thing where we were in we were in the place, and they said over the loudspeakers they were saying, "All right, everybody, we've got ourselves." A... Actually, it wasn't even really casual. It was more like you know, special uh, one time promotion. You know, this is your one opportunity to come and get free kitchenware. Uh, we are doing a special promotion through Food Network and all that stuff. But you gotta come right now. Within five minutes, we're doing a demo, and you can potentially get yourself a free set of kitchenware. But that is freaking creepy. Like, I'm sorry. There is something very Big Brother and very... <sighs> utilitarian, is, is that the word? It's like, I don't want your hands out. Shut up. Yeah, it's fine. I can buy cookware, for fuck's sake. And the scary thing is, is that there were a ton of people that were like, Oh my god, I can get free cookware! And of course, they went over there. And you know, if you, if you want free cookware, that's fine. Alright, whatever. But, oh me, it's just, no, it's... That, it doesn't feel right. Uh, entrepreneur about town. Rex. Big deal. How to score the deal of your life. Exclusive 100 tips on how to wear your hat from the man himself. Not working 101. What's this? Transforms. Who is Dr. Gimbal Lock? There's a part of me that really, really wishes that it was just a point, click, and then you're teleported mechanic. But I can see why they wouldn't, considering this is a stealth game and it's all about thinking about your next move. Yes? Oh, 20, 40... Oh, God. I'm going to have to go over every single pay, uh, fax. All right, you made it. The quickest way to the exit is via the acquisitions department, but there are robots of the unfriendly kind ahead. Hold to be sneaky. Tap to be fast. How does that work? I'm confused. So wait, I shoot and then... If I hold it, I'm sneaky, but if I want to just be there... Oh, I make a lot of noise. Cool, gotcha. Yes, this is where the stealth element comes in. What's up, friend? Can I... I don't think I can shoot through that grill, so... Managing lesser robotic life forms. Good day, sir. Imbecile. Imp <laughs> yeah, it's imbecile. Imp stupid worker who left her key card in plain sight in the yellow section. Oh, hmm. Oh, very interesting. I just noticed there's a switch over here. I wonder. Probably would be bad if I turn that on. Or maybe that. Yeah, maybe it covers all the lights in here. Please remember, any complaints will be noted with Adam, our head of HR, who is always very keen to know exactly who you are in explicit detail. Very creepy. You want my email address and all of my Facebook and all of my all of my Twitters and whatnot, and you want to know everything I'm doing at all times? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. The ever loving hell are you out in the open? No, maybe it's on like one of the higher shelves. Nope. Fuck off. You have value. You are unique. Like everyone else. You're all individuals! Yes, we are all individuals. Well, the good news is that he is not very perceptive. I see that my shots can actually bounce off the walls. That might be useful sometime later. <laughs> Here at Acquisitions. Oh, cool. <laughs> it automatically just hones in to the crack. I like that. Good attention to detail. Give me a second, lunch break. And again, just random food and junk. 
Which is interesting, that reminds me a heck of a lot of, like, a Valve game. Where, uh, Valve's real good with that, where they will just put these tiny little pieces of details, just... I don't know my own strength! That's... These tiny little bits of details that you really wouldn't think about. You know, it's like, here's a random chair where somebody would sit and eat their lunch every day. Yep, looks like I'm crawling through the vents. It's actually an intuitive way to uh, have you move through the vents and have your, like, head ducked down. Just showing that, nope, you can't teleport there because your head would be out of bounds. Hey, buddy. Oh. Can I teleport back here? Reading I can. Files, filing files. Killing time. Hey! Howdy ho! How you doing? I can just, like, take all of your inventory, correct? I'm gonna need all of it for, uh, things. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Our department needs every single one of these cans. Now, funny enough, my, my buddy Ben, we, we have had several streams of just, you know, doing VR type of stuff. He's not a gigantic fan of uh, VR streams that you specifically just do nothing but screw around in. You know, he can't... He can't really jive when it comes to, um, oh, you know, like the whole job simulator thing. Because job simulator is very much, you have to, you have to make your own fun with job simulator. You know, you're throwing the tools and you're the one that's kind of making the joke and making the fun. Uh, he's not cool with that. He, he likes an actual adventure and he would probably look at something like that and go, you've wasted so much damn time. Joan, I need to have a word with you. Your performance is horrible, Derry. We're down about 25% since last month. What happened? That's just reminding me, like, I've been in a couple of jobs where, very clearly, they don't give two shits about you when you are just a number and a metric. And at the end of the day, if something's better for business, it's better for business. And they don't really care too much about whether or not they're doing something horrible for the employees. No. It's not efficient, and why should we care? Oh boy. I figured maybe they wouldn't be able to see me if I was using it through, like, the... this little window. Fame. The best organic oil for your type of frame. Ten signs that your maintenance is che well, your mainframe is cheating on you. Everything on the new trend in robotics, quadru quadrupedalism. Oh God, that sounds that sounds uh, fetishy and creepy. Movie review: Raycaster, The Final Gather. Get biped in just two weeks. Hello, staff. It's another glorious day in the distributions department. Air Transcore, our mantra is to push the envelope of technological possibility. I suppose that's why you work in the mailroom. <laughs> Shut your head. Well, how secure is cybernetics, I wonder? Well, I am working hard because I love here, hold up. What do we got in here? Whoa! Darts! Oh, wait a minute. But, knife! This will work just fine. Also, I wonder if I can, you know, do like knife throwing and uh, throw it at the dartboard. Well, it, this is probably going to fail miserably, but... <laughs> oh, it didn't, it didn't fail. Okay, I got to try this again. I feel like there was a little bit of the game, you know. Ah, shit. They might be good for distractions, I have no clue. Oh wow, yeah, they're, they're giving me like all the sharp utensils, look at that. Scissors. Interesting, okay. Well, what do I want more? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have to imagine that uh, killing somebody in this game would be a little bit awkward. I watch all the things. I see all the things. I shoot 
all the things. You know, the sad part is that I really badly wanted to, like, use this shelf to, like, get leverage to lift myself up quietly. And then I remembered, oh, right. <laughs> VR. Oh. Dead to rights. How about that? I'm going to have to, like, this is one of those games where you have to look at everybody's movement patterns and make sure you're not doing something dumb. Well, that'll make my job harder. <laughs> I can hear my AC going like just off to the uh, the corner of my my hearing. So apparently that's where my room is located. <laughs> Okay. Now, where do you turn? Do you turn back and face this way? Nope. It appears he moves in a circle. Okay. Readjust. Like I said, there was a wall directly this way. Shit. Oh, fuck! Nope. Anyone else want a piece? Technically speaking, if, if you wanted to be like a crazed maniac playing this game, I feel like you possibly could. If you have fast enough reflexes, just go around stabbing random folk. And thankfully, I, I managed to pick up the controls pretty quick, so. A robot stream of robotic sheep. I wonder if I can kill any of my coworkers. That would probably be dark. I wonder how this guy moves. No looking. No peeking. Again, I'm going to try and attack him. Roughly around the time he cycles back. Oh shit. Nope. I'm saving your ass. Do you require a caffeinated beverage? Actually, I kind of do at this stage. But, I mean, it's sitting on the table, so if I need it. Where'd my... Oh. When I teleported in, my scissors came out of my hands. I was wondering what happened. I don't know, there were a few people complaining that... Uh, uh, the robot AI here, apparently, uh, in very early versions of the game was a little bit too good at their job. I don't know if that's true or not, because honestly, this is the first time that I'm trying to play the game, but I think it's fair. If you're an idiot, you get caught. Da -da. My play styles when it comes to stuff like this, I'm stealthy just about enough until I decide to stab somebody. And if I fail the stabbing, well, all bets are off. Ah, come on, hold it. Ah, ha, ha. Hello, buddy. Good to see you, I suppose. Oh. Cookie, no! I knew you well. Where do you stop? Or do you? I'm scared of the idea of running into, like, multiples of these dudes. Okay. His trajectory is he goes into the... That room. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If he comes down if he comes through that door. Death <laughs> Oh shit. Nope. Oh god, missed. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Die, die, get out of here, get out of here. Fuck. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Multiple people. Oh, my other knife is in his back. Actually, that looked more like it was in his crotch. 
Shut your face. Uh-oh. Why the heck did that go off? Also, they're not really paying much attention to that at all. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of them. I see a bin sitting right over there. Oh, shit. Yep, there it is. Technically speaking, wouldn't a level 3 clearance go through a level 1? That makes sense, right? Good God. All right. I'm sick and tired of these alarms. I'm getting up to level three. I've been going for a little while and I actually have some plans going on, but I actually really badly want to try and play this again on another VR stream. Anyway, so no, no, like I was saying, just a, a stealth action game in VR is extremely tense. Like there were several moments where there, you know, the robots would be nearby and I would just like be wide eyed very terrifyingly like get, getting behind them I, I really wish there were more of those types of scenarios where because they're they are decent ai that's for sure like they saw me they came walking up they tried to kill me i killed them first and then everybody else in the area was like what the heck was that but anyway thanks everybody who popped into the stream to say hi or watch me play i, I appreciate it very much um if you want to take a look at this after it's done I'll be taking the VOD, I usually edit these down, and then, at least like the the Vive roundup things. A few streams I just upload raw. But for this one, I'm going to be cutting it down, and I'm going to be uploading it to the YouTube channel after it's finished. I stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Some games that I play, well, again, every once in a while, I pop on the VR headset and do a little bit of a, a Vive showcase, which, you know, these are fun. Sometimes. Sometimes they're just complete failures. It comes with the nature of new hardware and having it be so janky. And then, also, uh, I've been doing a retrospective of the Ace Attorney games. I actually have not really played the entire series, but I I'm getting up there. Like I've, I'm nearly done with a, a big part of basically half of the games that exist. Um, there's some other stuff, too. I've been doing Stardew Valley multiplayer at random, depending on how how often I can get, like, the main bit players to come in and play. Main bit players being one, but I'm thinking about expanding it. Uh, I've been doing... Let me see, what else? I need to finish Celeste. That's another thing. I might do that next Wednesday, or if I want to play something more chill, I may consider something else. There was one thing that recently got an update. I'm thinking about taking a look at that update. I was thinking about doing that today, but I was like, no, I, I want to strap myself in the VR and play games. Oh, uh, anything else? I think that's basically the bulk of it. Anyway, I'm going to get myself out of this sweaty Vive headset. Holy crap. Okay, again, enough of me talking about random stuff. And thanks for coming out. See you next time.